Hi, welcome to Sex is Strong Booty Building Volume 2. My name is Marisa de Guzman Ciccone. I have BB Pro figure. So the first thing the girls did today was warm up with walking lunges. So we did three sets of those with moderate heavy weight, just normal walking lunges. Of course, the focus is always glute and hamstring. So uh, the, st the stance is a lot wider than normal stance when you're doing just a quad exercise. So one of the first exercises was glute bridges and that was about moderate weight as well. And of course, we always use the sexy strong band and we pre-fatigue the muscle by doing the, a, a little bit more deficit on the hip thrust. We didn't use any weight on it, but we actually used just the, the band, the sexy strong band. Third, the second, third set, we actually put a little bit of weight to just have a little bit more focus in the glutes. And uh, the third exercise with that one was, the, we call it the stripper deadlifts. So what it is, it's a sumo stance. They hold a dumbbell right in the right in the front of them. And we have a little bit more deficit. That's why I have the girl stand and to bench. And we the stance is basically a sumo stance. They squat down, then they deadlift in their way up. Okay, so uh, the first circuit we did, so the glute bridge, banded hip thrust, and then the elevated gesture for deadlifts. Uh, we did three sets of those and we did about 15 to 25 reps. So circuit number two, we did banded hip thrust and we actually, because this girl started with this uh, as her second set, we actually started heavier already than the glute bridges. And that was supersetted with uh, one leg hip thrust. And you'll see that with, as well, same thing, it's banded. The last exercise was just, I put a black band on the girls and we actually did, I guess you can call it a deadlift. So banded deadlifts or banded hip thrust, but they're actually standing up. So you'll see that in the video. So the focus on that one, same thing as get a good, good stretch, like you're doing a deadlift and let the band actually pull you back. And as you trust up, you'll notice I tell, keep the, telling the girls to keep their lower back grounded so their lower back wouldn't hurt. So the foot positioning for any of the hip thrust or any of the uh, glute bridges is always wide because I want the tension with the band. So always putting the tension in the band. You'll notice too at the end of their, their workout, the girls are starting to do an uh, abduction because the band's too tight and they're tired already. So I actually just let them do that so they can still activate glutes. For the second circuit we did, we did three sets and all the reps is between 15 to 25. The lighter the weight is, the more reps we did. And with the um, banded um, hip thrust, we actually did 15, 20, and then 25. So for nutrition, uh, if the, like the girls uh, training today, um, they're all about six weeks out from a show. So as far as nutrition is concerned, of course, it's all individualized. Some of them have a little bit more carbs than others. Some of them respond better with fat. So some of them have a little bit more fats in their plan. The refeeds are different. Some of them will have a little bit more fun in the refeeds, meaning there's burgers, pasta, pizza, sushi. And some girls are a little bit more cleaner refeeds and stuff. So everybody is different that way it can come, when it comes to nutrition. As far as posing is concerned, posing is individualized depending on how the, the person's body goes. So if the person has bigger quads, we try to hide the quads. So they always say, try to um, show them um, your best assets and minimize or don't show them your flaws. So. Um, 
for bikini. They don't like big quads for bikini. So if a girl has a bigger quad, we try to hide that flaw. If a girl, one of the girl has um, bigger glutes, we of course we showcase that. But at the same time, if they have bigger quads, we have to hide the quads even from the front, from the front pose to the back pose. So they're very individualized. So at six one nine muscle sexy strong, we do training and group training. We do individualized training too. Um, we have lifestyle clients, bikini clients, and we have figure clients. Um, right now, uh, I most of my groups have you know all figure or all bikini or all lifestyle, and as, of course I do nutrition for lifestyle and for contest prep as well. And of course off season, I do reverse dieting for a lot of my clients getting off season. And of course, posing, you know, posing's number one. They always say, you know, you can have the best package on stage, but if you don't know how to present your best package, somebody that presents better might be have a better call out. So individual posing for a figure in bikini, and we do group posing as well on Thursday for people that just needs practice and polishing. So if you need to find me personally, I'm here at 619 Muscle inside the gym here at Garnett and San Diego. And you can email me at marisa, marisafigure.com or hit me up in my IG. Thank you so much for watching and look out for episode three.